Irish are a great bunch of lads. Sitting there in the old Emerald Isle eating their spuds and having a grand supper of tea in the evening wasn't the six o'clock news. But whatever happens, happens because it's live. And I've never seen a blooper live on television, but thankfully now with the power of the internet, we have all of the bloopers that we'll ever need recorded forever in posterity. But it's Ireland, so... Uh, people recorded with their phones on the television because we haven't advanced that far in technology yet where we figured out how to record the television. Anyway, that's a roundabout way of saying we're going to be reacting to funny Irish news stuff. I'm trying to find like f funny Irish clips to react to, but we're a small nation and there's not that many of those clips out there, so <laughs> I'm taking everything I can get. I'll turn on subtitles, uh, but I don't think they'll help. And, uh, how does that feel? Great one, congratulations. Thanks, very It's fantastic. Jesus, unreal. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I saw you, I saw you. 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 I saw that that's what he's going to do tonight. He hasn't done it in years, doesn't even know if it still works, but Peter's getting the let out tonight and he's fucking gone for it, so he is. The thing you have to know about this as well is that, well, it's probably the same in many places, but the six o'clock news in Ireland is absolute gospel. It's what every older person in the country watches. And when you were growing up in Ireland, especially in the 90s when I grew up, Every six o'clock, there was always the Angelus before it, which is the bells in the church ringing, and that would be on TV, so you said your prayers at six o'clock, and then the six o'clock news would come on. And then everyone, it was like a national anthem was about to be played or something. Everyone like just stopped what they were doing, ate their dinner, and they watched the Irish news. And Lord of mercy on it, there was nothing good ever happening. So I wish I got to see something like this. I would watch the news every night if I knew something bad could happen. The Garda station and surrounding shops and businesses were evacuated as defense forces carried out a controlled explosion on the device. No explosive content was found. The main street has now been reopened. <laughs> what? <laughs> it... <laughs> it had explosive what? This word gets me demonetized immediately anytime it's said, by the way, so I have to be very careful. The station and surrounding shops and businesses were evacuated as defense forces carried out a controlled explosion on the device. No explosive content was found. <laughs> <laughs> what is he trying to say? I don't know how you can mess that up. How do you even get close to that word? <laughs> it's like... Maybe he just had it in his head where he's like, okay, don't say these words. Don't say that, don't say that, don't say that, don't say that. Don't say the word, don't say the word, don't say the word. Hello, fuckers! <laughs> ah, damn it! I've been there. The amount of times when I've done, like, stuff where I, I'm, I'm on in front of people who are not my audience, and I'm like, okay, don't say anything bad, don't say anything bad. And then the first thing that comes to your brain is the bad thing. I have stupid monkey brain. Also, this man was on the news every single night. Him and Sharon Neviolon, I forget what his name is. They were on every single night. I saw them more than I saw my own parents most times. Stuart, you're safe. Oh, this isn't the news. Oh, I think I remember this one. This needs Stuart. Yeah, he says the wrong person. Guys, I have a bit of an admission to make. We've made a mistake, I'm afraid, Stuart. Oh. It's no consolation to you, but I'm afraid, Conleth, you are safe. <laughs> oh, the face! Oh. My apologies for that. Oh, he's gonna kill Derek Mooney when he goes home. I remember this, I remember watching this. I can't remember what the name of the show is. There's so many of these types of shows, like singing shows. And I remember seeing this, thinking that, man, how can they get that wrong? Isn't this like pre-recorded? Oh, so cringe, but so good. Oh, just a nibble of cringe, please. Okay, Conleth, if you could join the others. Stuart, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> Conleth, if you could join the others and we'll see you next week. Stuart, if you could just pack your bags and go home, that'd be great. Yeah, sorry. Very often we have a failure of communications. <laughs> failure of communications. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. Didn't that happen at the Oscars as well? That they gave it to, uh... What? Was it Moonlight they gave it to and then La La Land won? Or was it the other way around? I can't remember. La La Land. We lost, by the way, but, you know. Guys, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Warren 
what did you do? Oh, Irish people love a good forecast. There's nothing the Irish love more than hearing how much it's gonna rain tomorrow and who died yesterday. Every time traveling with my mother in the car, the obituaries would come on on the radio and she'd be like, oh, shh, the obituaries are on. And she'd turn up the radio. Am I, that has to be a thing that some other Irish families went through as well. That the obituaries come on, everyone has to shut up. We have to find out if we knew anyone who died. And then the rain would come on and be like, ah, sure. It's fucking raining tomorrow. Yep. Ah, uh, sure. What are we going to do about it, huh? We knew it was going to rain. It's Ireland. But temperatures will drop back on recent days. That's it for me for the moment. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Emil. Oh. <laughs> you get a rare peek into the world of what goes on behind it. It's like recording these videos. I sit down and I'm like, okay, turn on the camera. Like, Hit record, record, three, two, one, sync everything, okay. Maybe a message to the editors being like, okay, for this video, I kind of want to do this. And it's like, Ireland is a famous place. And then in between scenes, it's like, <coughs> is there something on my phone? No, <laughs> it's so awkward. They recorded with phones on the telly and I don't know if you'll actually be able to hear it, but maybe you can like boost it or something in post or like balance out the levels a bit better because I'll be able to understand it because I'm Irish but I feel like people at home will be a little lost The Irish are a great bunch of lads and anytime those are left in it's like yeah we're just human so it's not that bad but every time I see it back I'm like what am I what am I doing be funny oh this is a very famous one <laughs> he, he doesn't realize that the camera's rolling already. <laughs> that one I remember very well. That went around a lot. I didn't see it live, but I remember people talking about it <clears throat> and people showing videos of it. So good. I'm starting to see all of these, uh, like, old famous Irish faces that were like, oh, the pinnacle of fame when I was a kid. The only way you got any more famous or was Brad Pitt. And now, <laughs> now I'm doing this on YouTube and <laughs> the views on this channel and the amount of people who follow it is arguably more popular than anything that was on the television that I was watching when I was a kid. And that completely blows my mind. No bloopers around here though. I have never made a mistake in a video. <laughs> Every time I go to the bathroom, I cut between. <laughs> Ugh, awkward. You should have shaved before you did that, Brendan. <laughs> How are You're you? a censor. How dare you? Uh, what? Gayborn and you are um, you're unstoppable arseholes. You arseholes. Thank you very much. You piece of shit. <laughs> so that was the Late Late Show. I was on that show, but I'm, I'm, I was on with the current host, Ryan Tuberty, but that was Pat Kenny, who I always hated. I never liked his presentation style. He always seemed... Annoying. Gay Byrne before him, an absolute legend. Legend. Rest in peace. Um, but Pat Kenny, I just never liked. <laughs> but having someone come up and be like, you're, you're, you're insufferable arseholes. You're, you're shite. <laughs> you have said so many things to them and that's what you come out with. Couldn't even get the words out. Uh, what? Gay Byrne and you are, um, you're insufferable arseholes. You arseholes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Piece of shit. You piece of shit. <laughs> There's just something about the Irish accent that makes swearing so good. It's that we don't make a we don't make a mess around the words. We just get to the point, we say it, it's short, we don't dance around it. It just sounds like it sounds like music coming out of our mouths. When other people try and swear so much, it's like so biting and scathing, and this is just like Who let Jimmy out? He's supposed to be in the pub at this hour. He's usually like 14 pints again is in. And here he just wandered on set and was like, who are you? You're insufferable. <laughs> is it a big day for all of you guys in here? It's a big day. We've been looking at this for <laughs> a, a number of years. So it's great that it's happened and we're now hit. Oh, this is when they switched from analog to digital, right? <clears throat> God, all of these like big monumental moments. Like when we got the Euro for the first time. So many so many times and I'm like, whoa, that's so crazy. They're all digital now. And as a kid, that was like, whoa, the end of an era. The nine 10 seconds, seconds nine, seven, six, six five. five, four, <laughs> three, two, 
one, switch. And there we have it. The Wait, was that it? Is over. Because <laughs> he was like five, four. She was like six, five. Like when you're a kid in school and you can't count, and the teacher's like A, B, C, and you're like seven, eight, nine. I don't know what that comparison was, but whatever. It was funny, right? HSE spending on the treatment abroad scheme fell by 1.6 million euro last year, and the number of refusals has increased. <laughs> What's he doing? Also, this is Sharon Neviolon. She was uh, <clears throat> she was on the news all the time when I was younger, and all the young lads thought that she was attractive. Like, oh, did you see Sharon on the news last night? Wasn't she looking grand? What is he doing? And the main news again this lunchtime. And I understand, sorry. And it's... <laughs> well, there we must leave it. <laughs> Welcome to the news today. S Steve... See you tomorrow. They Brito Ogni Bochla and Shaw Lakini to Nochta in Hampshire geez. for me for now. Good afternoon. Angus, you can't just launch into Irish like that. I haven't heard it in a long time. They Brito Ogni Bochla and Shaw Lakini to Nochta in Hampshire. I thought he was I legit thought he was having a stroke and he was messing up his words. Oh lord. <laughs> but first still to the RT newsroom for the first news of the evening with Sharon if you're along. Sharon <laughs> Just remind me, will you what's full sound? <laughs> it's so bizarre to see them in their natural habitat, like before they go live, what are they doing? It's just like, red leather, yellow leather. Yeah, you're an asshole. It's just an exercise. It's just part of the warm up. <clears throat> you're an asshole, Jim. It's just the exercise. Good evening. Today, 12 people killed. <laughs> it's 40 years since the launch of- God, poor Angus. Isn't that his name? Angus Magriana? He's, he's had so many bloopers, the poor lad. Of Apollo 17, the last mission that took man to the moon. Among those remembering the flight, it's Commander Enterprise. It's Commander who said he thought his voyage, <laughs> I beg your pardon, I beg your pardon. I'll try that again. A man has, can we just go back to the very start <laughs> of that? It's 40 years since the launch of Apollo 17, the last mission that took man to the moon. Among those remembering the flight was its commander. Yay! Angus, you got through it. Fair play to you. <laughs> it must have been a thing on the teleprompter that the next sentence was so close to the top one and he thought it just like ran into one another. I, I've read teleprompters like three times in my entire life and it's so scary. The reason I have glasses was because a few years ago I did the Game Awards and I didn't think... My eyesight was getting worse in the distance. And I didn't think to get glasses, because I was like, I don't need glasses, my eyes are fine. And then I was like, oh, I have to read something in the distance? Oh no, it wasn't the Game Awards, it was uh, South by Southwest. When I had to do the the award show there, and I was co-hosting it with Rachel. And I was so worried I wouldn't be able to see the teleprompter. <clears throat> and then when you have to read it, it's like, oh god, it's going so fast. And they're like, is that speed okay for you? And I'm like, no speed is okay for me, I'm scared. The Russian business tycoon Boris Berezovsky has lost his high court action against the Chelsea football club owner Roman Abramovich. Abraham Abramovich. You gotta practice those names before you go live, you can't. There's a reason that when I'm live now and people like donate to the charity streams, I take like a piece of their name and say that because I can't say the whole thing. Because it's just, I, I'm, I'll mess it up. Oh, Pat Kenny, you're back again. Through your television set, so you know who this is. I do. And what is the answer to our question? Uh, Roald Dahl. And Roald Dahl is correct. You know what this means? Uh, yes. You'll be picked up. In, yes. It's a Cork number. Yes. A Cork City. Yes. All right. If they tortured her, I, they couldn't get anything out of this woman. There's no question about it. a messed up joke to say, Pat. What's wrong with you? Come on. Not everybody can be like, Oh my God, I won! Barbara, who are you going to bring to the toy show next week? Oh, I'm not particularly interested. <laughs> <laughs> Hang, hang on a second, Barbara. Wait a second. Hang on. Just a second. Oh my God! There's the tickets to the toy show, right? You can yeah. <laughs> oh. Wait, I. Isn't there more to that clip? Oh yeah, this is much higher quality. 
Okay, so they're gone. Um, so Wait. you don't Wait. think the toy shop. Okay. There's <laughs> somebody in the background saying, Don't do that, put the phone down. Well, fair play to you, Pat. You like, no nonsense. Pat's a man of culture. He's, I'm dressed like Pat Kenny right now. All right, so you want the 10 grand? Please. <laughs> well, there I think I'll give up this job. Anyway, you won fair and square. You were picked out. Thank but you so uh, there's the toy show tickets. Anyway, sure, I'll give them to someone who would appreciate it. Thank Barbara, you. congratulations on the 10 grand. Enjoy it. Thank and, you. And um, we'll pick you up, we'll bring you up, but we won't bring you to the toy show. Lovely. All the best. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs> That's so awkward. Like, I don't want to go to the toy show, but 10 grand sounds great. I, I don't really want to leave the house. If you could bring 10 grand to my bank account, that would be wonderful. I can get a bunch of groceries out of that now. But I'm not leaving the house. No, dinner's on. Well, Ivan will have the late update on News on 2 at 10 past 11 tonight for another. It's back to you, Angus. Thanks, Joe. Oh, Angus, no! <laughs> Take the camera off him! He's gonna mess it up! Angus, why? What's wrong with you? Why do you keep messing this up? Well, the American Oscar-winning actress, Angelica... There we go again. Angelica, you say, I can't believe I've done it again, uh, is in Galway this week where she is the guest of honour at this year's Film Flap. The festival is celebrating its... Why, Angus, <sighs> practice the names before you go live. Surely they have it all typed up and ready to go. And will feature eight Irish and world premieres as well as dozens of films, shorts and documentaries. <laughs> At least he has a sense of humour about it. Fair play to you. I'd watch the news more, actually, if they felt a little more human. There's so, it's something so droll and, well, miserable about the news, but it's because miserable things happen in the news all the time. So it's never about, like, look at this amazing thing that people are doing. It's more about, like, here's who died and here's who did it. But if they felt, if they talked normally, it would it sound good. Instead of, like, Good evening. 16 people have come under fire today after the Taoiseach said that he was a big smelly nappy head. More at 11. Two of the teams that Ireland will face this autumn are preparing for what will be an historic encounter in Cape Town at the weekend. Argen Argentine Argen <laughs> It's uh Argentina <laughs> Pardon, it's going to be South Africa and Argentina, of course, facing up. <laughs> oh, God, he couldn't say Argentina. He must have had it in his head that he was going to say Argentinian. And then when he was trying to say Argentina... Because I, I had that before where I tried to say Canada and I said Canada because I kept having Canadian stuck in my head. And I was like, I think it was when I was in Canada. And I was like, oh, it's so good to be in Canada. Ah, C Canada. <laughs> Is that Angus again in the background? Angus! Angus, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, at this point, he's just taking the piss. He's just, he's doing it on purpose because he knows that it'll go viral. He's just a YouTuber at heart. Anyway, that's going to be Irish news bloopers for today. If you have any other, like, Irish clips or Irish... Because I, I did that video about Irish accents a while ago, and I got some funny clips from that that I was going to put into this, but I've reacted to them already. But if you have anything else <clears throat> to remind me of, because it's... I just can't think of any Irish things to look up, but I want to I wanna represent my country more. I want to react to more Irish stuff, like that sex ed video we did. They're so funny. Irish culture is like this little bottle of joy. And when it goes outside of its boundaries, just wild things happen. So I want more of it. I want more clips. I want more stuff from Ireland to be able to react to. So help, please. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching this one. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Do it now. It's easy. It's right down below the video. And don't forget to leave a like as well if you want to. It really helps me out a lot. And I'll see you next time.